All right, so the one thing I know for sure, collector length can enhance torque below, at, or above peak torque. Hey, hi, my name's Norm. Welcome to another Quick Flicks episode brought to you by Summit Racing. Uh, today we're going to pick up where we left off the last time discussing headers, uh, a little technology, a little FYI stuff, but today primarily focusing on collectors. Okay, so uh, we did our math the last time on our primary tube diameters, and I'm just going to take you right to the sweet spot. The collector diameter, uh, you're basically going to do a math uh, problem again simple multiplication. Take your primary tube OD diameter that we established in the first episode, multiply that by 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 or so for a street or dual purpose vehicle. Uh, if you're a more aggressive street vehicle, a, a, a limited street vehicle, more of a weekend warrior, you might want to use a 1.75, 1.8, 1 1.85 multiplication factor times your primary tube diameter. And if you're a race car, you will probably start with a 1.8, looking all the way up to possibly uh, 185, 1.90, perhaps even 1.95. Now, there are some instances where you could use a 2 to 1 uh, multiplication factor, but those guys usually have uh, no need of my technology. Okay, so uh, now collector length. Hopefully that's where I got you at the beginning. Collector length, okay. If you think about, um, what I want to say here, if you think about uh, the peak torque thing, okay? Uh, if you remember kind of like my, my homemade drawing the last time, okay? So peak torque, it happens at a certain RPM, it's a certain number. If I, if I want to enhance uh, below my peak torque, I'm going to run some type of collector length. All right, so. Let's look at this a little in, in a little more detail, uh, particularly for, let's say, uh, a street application, a, a, a milder street, a moderate street, uh, even trucks again, okay? Think about this. I, I know I've got to extend my collector to enhance my torque below peak torque. How do I do that when I get this kind of uh, short collector out of the box? I stay with at least some section length in my exhaust system that's the same diameter. That's the best I can make out of this package, okay? Um, I mean, you're going to be limited by what's available from the manufacturer unless you have deep pockets and the software to determine what you need for a header build, okay? Uh, so I'm, I'm limited by what the manufacturers are making available to me, first of all, and of course what will fit. But if you're if you need to extend that collector, I would encourage you to really think about considering another six inches, eight inches, maybe even up to 12, 14 inches of, of same diameter tubing before you take that reduction into you know, your, your two or two and a half inch dual system. Um, reason for all of this has to do with uh, reflective waves, okay? Reflective waves, um, here I'm gonna take you to the other side, all right? So, the combustion thing's going on up here in the block. Uh, you know, the flow is coming in and out of the cylinder head. Uh, as the, and think about this, as the piston goes down, it's pulling, few, it's pulling gases in, right? It's, it's evacuating perhaps also. There is some evacuation going on on the other side, but usually that's where the compression thing starts to happen as the piston starts to go back up. These reflective waves occur um, as the exhaust valve opens, you get the big rush of exhaust gases, you know, leaving the cylinder. Uh, what's going to happen is, you know, they're traveling very fast. Particles travel, oh, in the 340, or I'm sorry, 240, 250, 260 feet per second range. The actual wave is uh, at, the, at or near uh, or beyond sometimes the speed of sound. So we're talking 14, 15, 16, 1700 feet per second, I mean, really, really fast. Anyways. So this, these gases, uh, this, this wave, if you will, is, is moving and traveling down my primary tube. As it reaches, and in this case, as it reaches a collector, 
it opens up into a greater expanse. As that expansion occurs, you get a drop in the velocity, and as, and as that, that wave hits against, and I'm thinking about invisible things, okay? As that wave hits that expanse, the velocity drops, but also as it hits that expanse, there's a reflective wave that's generated and actually travels back up the primary tube to the cylinder. Now, if, if all things are going as planned, uh, and it's possible for that negative wave, that reflective wave, um, that if it's negative, if it's negative compression, it's actually a vacuum, or if it's negative pressure, it's a vacuum. So as this vacuum reflective wave comes into the cylinder, if both valves are hanging open at the same time, if you're in overlap, then you have the potential to really evacuate that chamber. I mean, if you think about this, all of this is going on in nanoseconds, microseconds, it's very, very quick. Um, and it's only happening at certain RPMs, that's why they're tuned headers. Um, but when it does happen, it's like the, you know, the, the crescendo of exhaust technology. Ah, so here we are, you know, this, this, this wave is, is coming back in, it's, it's coming in past both valves are up. And you can think about this, you know, the, the, the vacuum occurs, it's, it's saying, hey, fill me, I'm a void. You always want to travel from low or high pressure to low pressure. I mean, that's just the way things are. Look at the clouds, look at the atmosphere, look at water. That's the way flow happens. So it wants to fill this void. Well, all that fresh air is, has the potential exists for all that fresh air on the other side of the intake valve to come in sweeping in and fill the void of the chamber and maybe even come into the exhaust tract for air, depending on the amount of overlap and how quick this is happening, engine RPM, displacement, all that comes into this. But that's basically what scavenging is about, okay? That's, that's what makes headers a beautiful thing. Um, so I think, without getting any crazier, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time on Quick Flicks. If you liked what you saw, Please let us know. Uh, post your comments down below. Thank you very much. Bye.